giveaway free download for Herno V1. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about two ways to color the hairs. First way is by drawing color attribute. And the other way is even cooler, we're just using image to color our hairs. So it's like super easy. Barely an inconvenience. So this image is like a graphic design from my friend on Instagram. His design is pretty cool. So I decided to use one of his image, just something like that. We just put some image on top of these hairs. Or you can use any model, have the material with image uh, using this method and grow a hair from there. And about these hairs, like a uh, fluffy hairs, it will be updated video for the baby hairs one of my patreon members give me some feedback and suggestion to improve these hairs so i will update that video to make a perfect pitch fuzz and you can make this kind of stuffing toys this channel is almost reached 50,000. thank you everyone and i decided to give away this coupon code free download for this hair no v1 but if you use this coupon code for v1 plus you will get the same discount and then also i will give some giveaway from my instagram i will post some coupon code on my instagram story enough of talking let's see about this hair color so now let's talk about how to color the hairs as you see this is that material note come with the v1 plus and today i'm going to rebuild this for you so if you didn't purchase this you can build this by yourself okay so now let's mute this then let's make a brand new geometry node on one of your hair or like a, if you all your hair is a one object just do that so let's create a new one and that's called a set material the top of the hair is the one that we are building from just ignore the rest of this so the idea of this is we are going to make an object and this object it has some color information and then we transfer this object to the nearest point to these hairs we can get the color from object make a very simple object first let's use a uv sphere make it smaller to cover our head don't have to be perfect just like uh, somewhere close to these hairs let's name this to be color sphere test okay and then we bring this object inside of the node and set it to be relative depending on how detailed you want your paint to be you can subdivide this modifier let's subdivide it twice and then let's make some color attribute for it make a new attribute color then just go to this vertex pen so we can draw something let's draw a happy face so now we can hide this first let's use a set material put it over here and use a sample near the surface sample this and then let's use a store name attribute so we want to store the value that we sample and use this to be a color because it's a color information and this one also to color and put it over here and then let's use a name attribute so also set this to color so these two can be the same name so let's use a string first to give them a name the name is whole color that we just put on the sphere so that's name that to be color so this setup means depend on how close hair and the sphere sample the near the surface of the sphere and we store this attribute to the hair so now we want to tell this simple position to where exactly we put this attribute on these hairs so now let's get some information of the hairs capture attribute and set it to integer and spine a and use the index put it over here and over here and use a sample curve okay, and then and this over here and this over here okay, and use a spy parameter and put it vector to the factor and this position to the sample position 
So now we basically finish. So this setup means that we capture all the ID for each hairs. Then we give the ID to here. So now we know we want to sample each hairs. And then we use a spy parameter to tell this sample curve that we not only want to sample this whole hair, but also from the factor so like each point on this hair will be sample as well and we get the result for this position to this sample near the surface so now it knows that we want to put this attribute that we sample from the sphere to all the point on these hairs so which is mean if we put this factor to zero it means it only sample the root of these hairs. For each string, there will be only one color, which is the root color. Sometimes it will be what you want. So now we can use a switch and let's use a float. So now sometimes you can use this to toggle all the point or only you want to sample the root. So let's make a S, give this hair a new material, hair color, and it to be blue first. So now we use this with the hair color. So now we try to take this attribute that we store from here to the material. So let's use the uh, attribute and just use this whole color and put it over here. Yep, so now we have this color. But uh, let's see here. So I just make a mistake, I use the lens. It should be the factor. So let's put it over here. So it will be correct like this. If we switch this, it will behave differently. But uh, because of the way we make these hairs, we only make from this edge. We didn't make for the whole area. So it only can be sample this area. But just let you know this only sample the root and apply it to the whole spine. So use this. So now we can bring some attribute out. First, we are going to take out the material. So now we can set it from outside. And also this object that we sample from. And also this string. So that will be the name of the attribute. Then we can take the switch out as well. Go this this input we can name this to be yeah that's it so in this case you can paint all the color for your hair so that is the set material node so let's apply it to all these hairs so if i select all this so extra hairs and then i copy to select so all these here have this color so now let's go to this color sphere test to draw something but uh it's best we hide these hairs first because it will slow down the painting process and if you didn't see the color over here just set this to the attribute so you will see then let's select on this and vertex pen okay so maybe put more color over here over here now if we turn on the hairs we can see the stuff that we just paint on so now you can make all the graffiti and then i'm going to switch to the set material node i built but basically the same I'm going to tell you how to make a better color object more detail it will get a better painting result and then we're going to talk about how to use picture drive your hair color so now let's hide our hair group first and remember we have this one that we are building our hair first so let's not waste this we can still using this for our color so we will be more particular go to the top just duplicate this and just scale this to the opposite and also this one but before that just make sure all your value is correct let's apply this to all transform so the center will be in the old drum point then duplicate this and set it to be minus one so now we have all this and then we just join them select all this part okay Control j so now it become a one object and let's bring up our hair to see the position it's a little bit off so that's 
make uh, some change so let's go inside to the edit mode select this and bring it up a little out here so something like this will be good enough okay and also you see here they're here as longer than this i call it boxing it's best that we drag this out it will be closer to where exactly we want and just make some change for the wire to fit better just a little bit okay. and also maybe here you wanted to extend to cover your extra hair but uh, it's not really big deal okay so now we have already joined them and i would like to subdivide it maybe twice and just uh, apply this so now we got something like this so now we can use this as our colored object to sample the color let's see this color attribute so this color attribute is important so you can name it to be whatever you want color or color 01 just make sure when you use that you have the correct name so that's vertex paint let's make some test this one we make a different color so let's draw something okay so now let's test this now we go to the same material node let's make a new one and set material okay and let's use this a color that we just used and this color object pick this one which is this and also this color attribute which is this and copy from here just to make sure okay so now let's take a look so now the color is not correct because this name also we should name it to be like this this area should be correct let's hide this first right so this area is correct so let's duplicate this to the other hairs duplicate to select yeah so now we got this because the subdivision we didn't make it very high so if you wanted to draw it like a more detail just subdivide it more and sometimes it depends on the curve sample so sometimes you might want to use this resample here to make your hair have more sample and it might be more detailed so now it's correct it's working so now that turn on this we can draw it over here but also we can draw it directly on this here because they are so close so it feels like just drawing on here so now if we select on this and we can turn off all this option so when it's in cycle it will not appear and now if we try to just draw something in the vertex pen it will feel like we just draw on the hairs so maybe i wanted to here to have some color can just draw it on top of that okay, but uh, of course in this case the drawing process will be much slower it depends on how many hairs and how many subdivide you have then let's talk about the most exciting things how do we use image to color our hairs so now we give this object a material name it image color in this so now we don't want to see this attribute we want to see the material color and try to give some color see if that works to use an image node you can just drag any image maybe i drag this okay, and i put it over here so now we have this one as our image and now let's take a look at uh, this so before we are using color attribute to directly 
on top of this here. But this time, actually, we are not store the color. We are going to store the UV of this. So let's set this material to the new material we make. So image color. Let's go here first. So now we see this. We got some color, but uh, it's a little bit different. This one, we are going to use the UV of this. So let's check the UV. It's called UV map. Copy this and go to here and over here. Let's use UV map. So now it means it's already stored the UV map. And after that, we're going to use that in the material. So use a uh, attribute and then this to be UV map. Plug this vector to this vector. It's so easy that we just get this. We don't even have to rebuild the node. So now let's duplicate all this to other pairs or you can just switch this individually i'm just saying this is a quicker way copy to select so now we have the, exactly the same image on top of these hairs let's use uh, mapping in between here now we can like uh, rotating this image we can scale it so if you just use a sphere, just do the same. It's not a big deal if you make this or not. Now let's take a look at this UV. So that's the UV it comes with. But uh, I think most of the time that's not what we want. Maybe we will like it to be an image from this direction or something. It comes to UV editing. So now let's go to select on this and go to UV editing. So now we are in the UV editing and let's make a new UV for this. Make a new UV 001. Select on O and press U and we can select different options to make UV. You can test it. Let's use a project from view. So now we have a UV that looks like this. But the material is still using the old UV which is this. So let's go to name this to be 0 0.001 and also for all the note that we have to name them to be 0 001 so is this one let's name that to be 0 001 for the new UV yeah now we got this image so now we can try to bring it to be some position that we want. Okay, so now we have this. So the UV is kind of like a project from one direction all the way to the other part. That's one way and that you can try different UV unwrapping but uh, it's best that you make a new UV and you UV unwrap on top of that so you will not lose your original UV. And depending on you like, you can use this to mix multiple image. You pick other image and you just mix that and also use some like a factor attribute that I built inside of the node. Color it a little bit more. Just like play, have fun with it. So now if you try to post your character, you will find a problem. Go to this rig and let's make it a post. So you see this object will stay in the same place. We are going to parent this with the bone. Let's go to the rest mode, click on this color object and shift click on the rig. Then control P and select this bone. We'll calculate the best suit bone for you to parent and then you will just be parent so now if you go to any other post the object will follow your hairs and then you can have the color fixed on your head like that that is how you color your hair by drawing color attribute and also by using image with this set material node come with hair node v1 plus there's so many nodes in this pack so i hope you can download this and have fun join with this and if you like my content consider to go to my patreon to check what is inside and if you like you can support me by joining the patreon thank you subscribe and see you next time bye bye